but so many and so many of my followers on my Instagram and stuff like that I've realized they don't fully understand their faith which is funny that I feel like I've heard that already reiterated multiple times among younger people and I'm oh man oh it gets me fired up because <laughs> It is so knowable and it's understandable and I believe God gave us that gift and there's a reason why we're able to think the way that we do in abstract terms and it all makes sense. And I so, so love hearing young Catholic teachers teaching just that the faith is knowable and it's understandable and it's logical and it's not counter to human reason. That's the thing. And that's like the narrative that right the outside culture likes to push is that this doesn't make sense. It's all just about miracles and magic and you know if we start disproving the miracles therefore we start disproving the faith and that's like that's not true that's mm -hmm. nothing to do with what the faith is mm -hmm. so anyways you can tell i get very excited about <laughs> that's <laughs> but, awesome but you guys are hitting on a topic that i'm super passionate about mm -hmm. and it's really it's very nice to be around others who i can tell have the who notice it too who notice the issue mm -hmm. and are working to address it i guess I would say I think there's a lot of families or parents who are really concerned or hesitant, though, mm -hmm. about teaching the faith as it is. And maybe it's the stress from the outside culture saying that this isn't right. good. I mean, it's not you know, your pleasures aren't being satisfied. You're not living the life you should. And so uh, my experience, at least, has been as a religion teacher at my previous assignment is that a lot of parents, when I started teaching, like Austin was, started teaching the faith the way the faith is supposed to be taught, mm -hmm. by using the proof of the early church fathers throughout right. the course of history. Mm -hmm and challenging the kids to learn the reality of what the faith mm -hmm. is and showing that it is intellectual and that you can come to conclusions, the parents don't like that. Interesting. Because, well, one or two things. I think one, it causes them to realize that their own practice of the faith is mm -hmm. not sufficient. Mm -hmm. That living a life subpar to the Catholic faith as they are mm -hmm. can no longer happen because their children are learning the truth. Mm -hmm. And two, they don't think religion should be taught like any other subject. My experience has been when I challenged them and made them have assignments or write a two-page paper for middle school kids in a religion class, the parents hated that because their kid was doing homework for religion. Religion was thought as like the art class or the drama um, class. Like it's well, just an easy, an easy me, grade. That, that's completely opposite. For us, I grew up in uh, Western Kentucky in the Catholic high school that I was in. Religion was one of your hardest classes, and it was one the one where you were expected to come to the table have read your stuff, be ready to have a very thoughtful discussion, and if you had an assignment, you had better, really, better <laughs> assignment. Like, it was one of the most well, and what, the was, it, was it, like, taught by Dominicans or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's, that's, that's... Uh, Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's totally different, because maybe, maybe in middle school, there were a couple of times where religion wasn't so serious. When we got into high school, we started talking about other religions and got really deep into theology and started really getting into it the more we went through high school. And I think they just wanted to make sure that when we left high school that we really understand, you know, the depth of what we say we believe. And so they took it extremely seriously. Yeah. Have you ever heard the story, Bishop Barron tells a story about uh, his like, niece or nephew or whatever. They came, they came from uh, the major prep school in Chicago and they had their, their books for like Latin and their books for the other classes. And it was like the classics, the Ovid. And then he said the, the religion book was like, looked like a coloring book. <laughs> 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 he was like, let me, let me introduce you to some St. Thomas Aquinas. And... <laughs>